Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 24 of my horror game tutorial series. So this tutorial is the beginning of a little how to make an AI chapter. So as you can see I imported this little guy right here. And yeah, so let's jump into the play mode and see what we're going to do in this episode. So as you can see we have this uh, little guy right here and he is playing an idle animation. And if I go to the bathroom, you can see that we have the bath t uh, tube, tub, bathtub, <laughs> um, and it is filled with uh, red water, which looks like blood. And there's also a dead body in there. So I'm going to show you how to import uh, this guy right here and how to set the thing in the b uh, bathroom up. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will see you after the intro. Okay, so now we're inside of the Unity editor and let's start by opening up the asset store. So go to window and then click on asset store or press control 9. Okay, so we are looking for an anime model that has some animations. We could do that by going to 3D models, characters, and then pick creatures or human uh, or humanoids. And then for example, click on humanoids and then go down here, click on price, and you can see there are all different kinds of models. Uh, which are free and you can pick one of these. But I already found a model which is pretty great. So we're going to use that. So uh, the model is just called Google. So type that in, press enter and then select sort by price. And click on this asset right here. So we have this little creature right here. And I have to admit this is one of the best free packages I've seen on the Unity Asset Store. This is great qual uh, this is a great quality model and the animations are also pretty good. So click on download uh, or import if you have already downloaded it. Uh, both will bring you to this import Unity package wizard. And here we can see what we are going to need and what we don't. So we are not going to need the corridor of BX because we don't need the corridor. Of course we need the ghoul FBX and the ghoul controller. So we don't need the door material. We don't need the atlas. But we need the ghoul. We also don't need the ground hole. And I leave that because I don't know what it does. Then in the prefabs we don't need the corridor prefab. Of course we need the ghoul prefab, but we don't need the ground uh, hole prefab and we don't need the light prefab. So disable this. Then we don't need scripts. Uh, we need the shader. And we don't need the test scene. And we don't need the atlas. We don't need the normal. We also don't need this, and this, 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 this. We only need the ghoul, uh, d.png, the ghoul emission.png, the ghoul normal, the ghoul specular, and we also don't need the ground hole um, picture, so we don't need the png or the normal. And again, I don't know what uh, those are, so I leave them. And now everything is set up, so we can click on import. And Unity will do its stuff and import the package, which will only take a few moments. So now we can close the asset store in the meantime, so cl right click and close tab. And now, as you can see in the assets folder, we got a new folder called Google. Let's first drag, in, uh, drag it into the imported folder. And now let's have a look at the folder itself. So. Go to the imported folder, double click on the ghoul folder, and here you can see we have the audios. So for example you could have a listen to the audio files in here, perhaps you can use them later on in your project. Perhaps you can use them, but uh, I don't think we are going to use them. 
in this tutorial. And then in here, objects, we when we go to prefabs, you can see we have the prefab right here. So let's drag it into the scene and have a look. So the first thing you notice is it is pretty small. So what we would normally do now is we would go to the objects and find the imported mesh. So we would uh, try to increase uh, the scale factor right here. But if we do that, for example, if I put it to 0 0.9 and apply it, you can see the ghoul only gets uh, chubby and uh, we don't want that. So set it back to 0 0.7 and apply that. So he's normal again. Then go to the ghoul prefab here. And then we simply have to scale it up. Yes, I know I told you it's not so good to scale, uh, to scale up objects, but in this case we have to. So scale it up to 1.6 by 1.6 and 1.6. Of course you can play around with those values, but I think those are great. So now if I go into the play mode, we can have a look at the goal. You can see here it is, it looks pretty great, it's scary, it has its own idle animation. And also, if I turn off the flashlights, it eyes are, uh, its eyes are glowing, so that looks cool too. Okay, so you can also see, you can also see that we have a lot of other different animations, for example the attack one right here. We also have a die animation, if you don't want to use a ragdoll. We have hit animations, so if you have, I don't know, a sword or if you hit him in the shoulder with the pistol. We also have a jump animation, so this looks stupid of course in here, but um, if you actually script it, uh, this looks great. So you can make a whole full fleshed enemy with this object right here. But I think we are only going to make a very simple zombie AI, so we are not going to need all of those animations. But it's just good to know that you have those animations available. I also like the run animation, it looks great. Okay, so now that we have that, let's set up the scene. So first, I want to grab the mesh right here and duplicate it and drag it out. So this is going to be our Google world model. And now if I, oops, that's not what I wanted. I actually wanted to copy the whole Google itself. So grab the Google prefab and duplicate it by pressing control D. Then call this Google World Model and delete the animator so we don't have an animator. And you can see we now have an identical Google, but compared to this one, you can see this one plays animations and this one is just an idle object which does nothing. Okay. So now go to the prefabs uh, folder and also grab the ghoul prefab and call it enemy or enemy underscore ghoul and then drag them into your prefabs folder to make them your own prefabs. So if you make changes to this, you are not actually changing the prefab with uh, which comes with the package right here. So for example if you mess up and your ghoul turns out to be pretty bad or you make a mistake and you just can't find to figure out uh, what you've done wrong, you can just go to the ghoul folder, grab the prefab from there and drag it in and start uh, all over again. So it's always a good idea to make a copy for yourself. So we have the enemy ghoul right here 
And I also want to do the same thing for the Google World model. So we have that. So let's start setting up our scene. So let's grab this guy and bring him into the bathroom. And now I want to rotate him so that he kind of lies flat like a dead body. I also want to rotate him in this direction. Then bring him up and bring him inside of here. So now it looks like he's floating dead in uh, the bathtub, but right now this looks pretty stupid because there's no water. So let's fix this. Right click on your assets folder and then import a package. And then go to environment and click on this package and Unity will import the standard asset package for that. So you can see here a lot of things. We don't want the speed tree. We don't want the terrain assets. We are only interested in the water right here. So we have water and water 4, water and water basic and some utility scripts, which we also don't want. And we don't want the prefabs. So we are only interested in the water. Make sure that you have only selected this. Of course, disable the cross-platform input. And also this one right here. So now we should have only selected the water. And now click on import. This make, uh, uh, the selecting and deselecting of the things make sure that we don't clutter up our project with things we don't need. So now in the standard assets we got an environment folder so if we go in there and click double click on the water and go to water and prefabs here's a prefab called water daytime and water pro nighttime so let's drag this in here and you can see this water looks pretty good and it also flooded our apartment so let's select it and scale it down And I'm also going to scale it like this. Then put it in here so that it looks like it, f uh, like the uh, bath tube is filled with water. Bring it up a little. So now uh, you have a little decision to make. Uh, you can, you could leave the water like this, or you could go to the refrain color. It's in the Water Pro nighttime material. And change this to red, so it looks like the bathtub is filled with blood. Of course, it all depends on your taste, what you like. But I'm going to think I'm going to do this like this. And then you just have to position your ghoul in the bathtub so that it looks good for you. Okay, that's good for me. So now if you check it out, here's our ghoul. Now let's go to the bathroom and have a look. You can see the ghoul is in the bathtub and we have some water which is moving around. And I think the water looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, let me have a look at the time. Okay, so we are at 13 minutes right now. So... Yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to set up the ghoul so that it can be used as an uh, for the AI, so that it so that we can apply things like um, the, that it follows the player or that it can attack and stuff like this. Um, but I think we're going to do this in the next episode because I don't want my episodes to be so long. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and if you did, please leave a like and also consider subscribing to, keep, uh, to stay up to date. So don't forget to smile and until next time, bye guys!